You ever just think sometimes I just need a freaking caramel apple break? Mmm. Me too, dudes. What's up, dudes? It's the freaking Deke. Today, we're gonna do a little build that's gonna help the Deke keep the shop organized. Well, dudes, it's this little gym behind me right here, a drill and impact shell. This is how it's built. Let's run it, dudes. Uh, let's run it. Oh, that was new. I know you're excited. All right, dudes, apparently you already saw what we're building. Now is the steps on how we build it. And obviously, step one is mark and prep all your pieces. I cut everything easy on one of those six and a half inch circular saws. It's 16 gauge. It's laid out. It's time to break it up now, dudes. Time to break it up. Time to break it down. Break up this bullfight and keep it freaking moving. Jaga, jadish. So let's do it. All right, dude, so ultimately the question is, I have all one, two, three sides broken, but how do I get this last lip broken into here? Obviously from here, it's gonna break into itself. It doesn't fit underneath from the backside because it's not long enough. That's the perk of the magnetic brake, being able to switch out the freaking upper jaws, baby. That's the trick right there. That's the whole point of this thing. Hmm. They send you a mini jaw. They send you a mini jaw for that very reason, dudes. You also use this jaw to roll things, but as you can tell, now I can break the last break with much to do about nothing. You know what I mean? That's the whole freaking jigadish, my dudes. Switching out the jaw. Now look. Done. Done. There we go. This is the point. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for right here, right here. Why? Why? I'll show you. Huh? Huh? Back me up, dudes. Good for the last break. Good for what ails ya. Let's break these last ones. Uh, we breaking the last one. Okay, we got all the pieces broken, happy with them, very happy with how that went. We're freaking psyched, the Deke's psyched, everything's going as planned. Here is kind of the plan, just loose. Obviously nothing is welded yet, nothing is fully prepared to... All right, that can still happen, that can still happen. It's time to freaking blast these suckers together. What do you think, dudes? What do you think we're gonna be using other than the good old classic freaking favorite of all favorites, silk and bronze? It has gotta match the rest of the stuff in the shop, dudes. So we're gonna silly be the old drill shelf together. We silly be the D, am I right? I guess we're gonna do the old speed through silly V weld job. Uh-oh, who's excited about that, my dudes? I know I am. We're excited, we're just tacking it up, so let the tax you begin, dude. Uh, oh, we TIG weld. Our favorite. You TIG weld. You silly bee. You stack them in. Uh, we sight. So, you enough chatting. Uh, you time for tacking. Let's do it. Holy cow, dudes. Holy cow. I, uh, I forgot to turn my water cooler on for that whole tack session. 
I thought for sure my freaking power line was gonna be burned up. I thought for sure it was gonna be melted, but it's not leaking anything. I got so lucky I didn't actually lay a real well. You have got, you cannot run a water cool setup and have your water off and think, oh, I'll just burn real fast. Oh no, guy, oh no. You'll melt your TIG torch cables. Bad, 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 bad. It happened to me once, it sucked, I burned them up. Uh, got lucky this time, got lucky that, well, let's be honest, dudes. It wasn't me that burned them up, it was the dude I was teaching, which is fine. Here's the point. I got lucky just barely, but let's not act surprised. I'm one of the luckiest, and that's just a fact. Okay, I got the whole shelf tacked up, but I have this wild hair because these shelves are a little bit flimsy. I should have broke a cross into them like I did with the generator lid. You always break a cross for rigidity, but because I didn't, and I need to mount this baby anyways, I need to come up with a sweet mount. I, I'm gonna use the old expanded metal on the back here like this. Expanded metal, I'm gonna tack the shelves off. That'll give them all the strength they need. So yeah, I'm gonna get this marked up. I'm gonna use an angle grinder to cut the metal. Then I'm gonna tack the back on. And I'm gonna space each shelf as I'm tacking the back together uh, to where the shelves are nice and square and perfect and the whole thing is a little bit trued up. So that's what we're doing. I'm the mother freaking deke and we go in with the old expanded metal treatment. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, thought about it. That is what I'm gonna do. Okay, uh, yeah, cutting this real fast. Yes. All right, cut up, uh, squaring it up, tacking it up, squaring the shelves, tacking those last. I love it when a plan comes together, dudes. Let's do it. Holy Moses, dudes. I don't know how often this like gets said, maybe, let alone get said on Instagram. I gotta be honest, some of the freaking welds on this thing were hard. They were hard, hard, hard. I think this material is 20 gauge, it's not 16. I grabbed a piece of 16 gauge, it's not. So it's 20 gauge, tacking off to that uh, expanded metal and whatnot. Some of those welds were freaking tricky, dudes. You know, you gotta get like, you gotta get the expanded metal hot enough, but you can't burn down the 20 gauge and you wanna not warp it. And you wanna, like, good gravy, man. Anybody who can lay a sick, consistent weld with no warpage on thin material, I don't know. I don't know. But that was, uh, some of those freaking welds were tough, dude. Some of those welds were tough. Although, I'm happy with how it came out. Let's have a look at this, baby. This thing's pretty sick. This thing's pretty sick, you know? All right, enough Googling at it, enough goggling at it. It's time to attach this baby to the wall, man. I'm gonna throw it up and load it up and let's get the final, let's get the final pick. You know what I'm saying? Let's end this sucker. All right, dudes, done and done. Shelf is built. Very happy with how it came out. Got your impacts right here, your drill right here, battery shelf, couple bits. This is the Makita shelf, Matabo up here, DeWalt and the Milwaukee. You know how we do it, dudes. I'm psyched about how this thing turned out. I've been thinking about building one of these for a while. What would I do different? I don't know. I'll never do anything different. Doesn't matter. This thing's freaking styling beyond styling. And so I would have probably used 16 gauge versus 20, but all I had was 20. So we got a little light. It's a little light for the old material, but it was, uh, yeah, that's what happens. When you scrap yard building, you just use what you have and that's the whole freaking point, dudes. Anyway, hopefully this uh, inspires you to clean your shop a little bit, maybe build something freaking sick for it. A little silly bee, a little break action, a little silly bee action. All right, dudes, I'm the mother freaking deke and I'm out.